Just show up. This is the mentality. The just show up mentality means that no matter what, if you just do the bare minimum, if you just show up, you have made progress. To win, it's simple as that. To win, you don't have to do something big. Even if you do the smallest thing, you've won. If you're in a rut and you do one push up, you've won. If you just meditate for 20 seconds, you've won. If you step into the cold shower for two seconds, you've won. And now your brain's gonna say, no, but if I just do one push up, that's not gonna do anything. I actually have to do a full workout if I wanna see any gains. That's not gonna help me. How's that gonna help me? Shut the fuck up. Of course, the full workout will be better than one push up. But if you're in a rut right now, you won't do the full workout. What actually happens is when people are in a rut, they think, oh, I have to start doing the full workout again. So they try doing the full workout, they fail, and then they give up for another week. But the thing is, who said that you had to do the full workout? Like, give me names, give me their address, bro. I'll, I'll talk to them. <laughs> so before we do that, first, we need to prove to yourself that you can even do one push up or 10 or 20 every single day for a week or two. Look at it like this. If you're in a rut and you set your goal to be 50 push ups a day, you'll do 50 for the first day you'll do like 40 for the next day the next day you'll do 20 10 then you just will stop and you won't do anything for the next week or two so if you set your goal up here you simply won't be consistent because you're in a rut but now think about it like this what if you just set the goal for one push-up well for the first day you'll do one push-up the second day you'll do 10 push-ups because like you're already on the ground after you've done the first one so you're like i may as well do a couple more the day after that maybe you do 20 then 30 then back down to 20 then 30 then 40 then back down to 20. it kind of fluctuates but the thing is you're consistently doing a couple every single day so after a week the first guy with the big goal of doing 50 a day he's given up but then the second guy whose goal is to only do one a day he ends up doing more than the first guy because he's consistent, he sticks with it. So I hope this is clear, you make less progress on the day to day because you do less push-ups. But the thing is, you're more consistent, so over time, you actually make more progress. Weirdly enough, by setting your goal to do less push-ups, you end up doing more push-ups. We need consistency because that is what builds momentum. So when we do the first push-up, that builds momentum to the second, the third, and then maybe a week later, we build up so much momentum that we can start going back to those full workouts. And that's when we're like out of the rut. So that's the simple way to get out of a rut. Progressive overload. Just use the just shot mentality. Start with one and progressively overload it over time. Then the bite, the... The shoulder's looking kind of good right now. So here's a realistic example. Maybe on day one, you're lazy, so you just do one push-up, and then you clean your room. Okay, good enough. The day after that, maybe you do 10 push-ups. All right, good. You've made progress. The next day, maybe you take a cold shower, and you do 20 push-ups. Okay, even better. Each day, you just add a little bit more, and some days, you'll fall back to just doing one push-up, but that's fine. You just cannot do zero. You cannot fall back into the rut. This is what gets you out of the rut by not falling back into the rut. When you remember that, oh yeah, I have to do one push-up, you get down and do it. And now that you've done it, you're like, okay, I might as well do other things because that stops you from getting comfortable. Most people get into a rut because they've gotten comfortable there. Comfort is the number one reason why people stay where they are. So that little bit of discomfort from having to do that one push-up, that kind of shocks you out of the rut for today and leads to more action. And even if it doesn't, at least you've done one instead of zero. It's something so achievable that in your mind, you're like, yeah, I know I can, I just don't want to. <laughs> so now you've set your game plan. You know what you're gonna do. You're gonna do a little bit of meditation, a little bit of exercise, maybe a little bit of reading, whatever, right? and you're gonna progressively overload it over time until you get back into your normal routine. That's how you're gonna get out of this rut. So a simple plan that I have here is five push-ups a day, meditate for one minute, read one page of a book. That's it. If you do that, it literally you could do all that in less than five minutes. So there is literally no reason to not do it, and there's no way it would negatively impact your life. There's only positives that come with doing that, so why not? So now to get you started, Let's do 10 push-ups. Today is going to be the first day and the activity that we're going to be doing is push-ups, right? So if you've been really like motivated this whole time, uh, now is the time to put that motivation to action. You can see who the fakers are. The fakers are like, oh, I'll, I'll do them later. No, no, not, not later. Now, right now. I'm doing them with you. So like, relax. I don't care if you need to do them on your knees, just do them, all right? <laughs> also, if you're not going to do them, then you can just click off because if you're not going to take action on just 10 push-ups, there is no way you're going to take action on like a big, like week or two week long plan. You can just fuck off if you're not going to do them. All right, do them with me. All right, done. Look around you now. 
what else can you do to shock yourself out of comfort? Maybe your room's a little bit dirty, go clean your room. Maybe you haven't brushed your teeth yet. Maybe you have to take out the trash. Shock yourself out of comfort by doing just the bare minimum and let that snowball start to grow bigger. To change your life, you need to make a change. But no one said that that change had to be big. It can even be as small as just doing a couple push-ups. Take action. Boom. If you're not a little pussy, right after this video ends, go take a cold shower. If you've done that, uh, you can comment and uh, you'll get some validation, I guess. I'll do a cold shower today as well, but uh, I'll do it after training and training starts in 30 minutes. So yeah, you can pretend we're showering together. Okay, that's kind of weird. Self-improvement bath water. <laughs> All right, go shock yourself out of comfort, bro. Give me a kiss.